it always seems like on days when I film my conspiracy videos, it's always like gloomy outside and it makes me scared. And I'm home alone, so I'm like double scared. Okay. It's Adria, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing another conspiracy video. Oh, over Shane Dawson, I'm coming for you. Weave, girl. You guys request these all the time, so I thought for today's conspiracy video, we would talk about food because I went down a rabbit hole that I didn't want to go down. <laughs> Recently, I watched the documentary called What the Health on Netflix. Honestly, I'm triggered. Food is just one of those things that you don't really want to know too much about. Once you do, you can't unknow it and then you don't want to eat anything anymore. If you still want to be able to eat your faves, this video might ruin that. <laughs> also, I feel like I should just say this. I am not a food expert. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not here to tell you what to eat, what not to eat, whatever. This is just stuff that I found online. And I know I'm talking about conspiracies. Illuminati, please leave me alone. Oh, I'm doing, oh, am I doing one of the hand things right now? Girl. <laughs> The first conspiracy about food today is about GMOs. GMO stands for genetically modified organisms, and basically what they do is when they put GMOs in food, it makes the food bigger. Have you ever gone to Walmart and seen like a two foot long banana? Mm, like, yeah, that's why, girl, I don't mess with that Walmart produce. You're my side hoe for everything else, but produce, I, I don't need like a five pound lemon, thank you. <laughs> So some conspiracy theories about GMOs include businesses dealing with art architectural businesses and agriculture suppress data showing that GMOs are harmful. Why would they do that though? Sadly kids in today's world it's all about the money. They want to be able to sell more. Because if you think about it, if you're a farmer and the time it takes you to grow enough crop to sell, then you have to regrow it all over again. So wouldn't you rather sell apples that are like double their size and be able to make double the profit in the same amount of time? So it's a sad world. I even learned today that really the only apples that are safe are the ones that don't look super waxy because you know apples like they look pretty they look like they got their highlight on girl just burped uh that's a gmo ass apple girl i'm triggered <laughs> we all know chipotle i think i'm going there tonight i love chipotle they were one of the first restaurants to speak out against gmos claiming that they don't use products with gmos i mean if you've ever had chipotle it's delicious it tastes really fresh but then we all remember a few years ago when there was an outbreak of e coli at chipotle that's bad for business right that looks really bad so there's a conspiracy theory about that supposedly biotech industry or other restaurants we're trying to sabotage Chipotle for speaking out about GMOs and stuff because then that could ruin their business. That could ruin other restaurants. So, I mean, the theory does make a lot of sense. Even Chipotle themselves heard about the conspiracy theory, but nobody could prove or disprove that it was true. All I know is, girl, I still eat at Chipotle and I'm still doing the Illuminati hand thing. I promise you I'm not in the Illuminati, okay? What I'm about to tell you next really freaked me out, okay? So this is about foods that aren't what you really think that they are. One of them is Kraft Singles. If you look at the packaging on Kraft Singles, where on it does it say cheese? It doesn't. <laughs> My mind was blown because your girl loves grilled cheese. In fact, I think I wanna make one right now. I love me some cheese product. What even is this? I don't even know what I'm eating. But it's good. Grilled cheese is delicious, and even knowing that the cheese isn't real cheese, I still wanna eat the cheese. And I even had this Publix brand of cheese, and even that said cheese product. It was just like some knockoff Publix brand, like, hey girl, I'm trying to save a buck. Sadly, that doesn't even stop us from buying it, even knowing that it's not even real cheese. Who even knows what it is? Probably wax. It's probably a melted Crayola crayon. I really don't know what it is. Freaking delicious, we all know. The other food that isn't what you think it is, is maple syrup. So we've all had Aunt Jemima's. Aunt Jemima's was my girl, okay? I loved her. Some people went for Mrs. Butterworth. I, I repped Aunt Jemima, but it doesn't say maple syrup on it because that would be false advertising. All it says is Aunt Jemima's. If you read the ingredients, there is no maple syrup to be found in it. So what are you eating? Well, basically just sugar. <laughs> You're basically just pouring sugar on your pancakes. And this is not a conspiracy. Neither is the thing about the cheese. Like these are legit, it's true. And I told that to uh, my stepbrother. He felt like his life was a lie. I feel like my life is a lie, okay? I went and splurged and got that expensive maple syrup at the store and the fancy glass bottles 
that actually have to be refrigerated and it's like how did I not realize this sooner I mean it tastes so much different it tastes so much better I don't think I can ever buy Aunt Jemima's again again the grilled cheese thing I'm like mm? I mean like I don't want to but sometimes you just really want a grilled cheese the dilemma I used to love corn. Corn was my favorite food. And then I learned that they now grow corn to have its own pesticide. It grows a pesticide in it that if bugs eat it, they die. So I don't want to eat that. I don't want to eat a pesticide. It's just, I'm scared. I kind of just want the world to end at this point. So probably one of the biggest foods that people debate about what's really in them is Chicken McNuggets. So Chicken McNuggets came out in the 80s. Ever since then, I mean, they've been trying to reduce the amount of ingredients that they have in them. At the moment, Chicken McNuggets, besides chicken, have 31 ingredients in them. Just think about that. <laughs> 31 ingredients in a tiny little bland nugget. You can make a full dinner for two with less ingredients than that. That's really scary, especially because they don't even really, they look, there's like nothing to them. Ooh, when I learned about that pink paste, I was like, oh, ooh, no. Brandon and I did the Chicken McNugget Challenge back in the day, ancient fetus video. I think I ate like 25 Chicken McNuggets in one sitting. I felt like my organs were shutting down. Brandon was puking, he was like freezing. I was burning hot, sweating. I wanted to puke. In fact, I wanted to die. You wanna hear some of the ingredients? You know it's bad when you can't even pronounce the ingredients. Water, modified food starch. Salt, autolyzed yeast extract, wheat starch, natural flavoring, safflower oil, dextrose, citric acid, sodium phosphates, enriched flour, bleached wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine minotaurate, riboflavin, folic acid, yellow corn flour, baking soda, sodium acid phosphate exam, sodium aluminum phosphate, Phosphate, calcium lactase, spices, cornstarch, canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, hydrogenated soybean oil, TBHQ, the hell? Citric acid, dimethypha, fluffy, foxoblate, prostate exam. What is all that crap? I don't even know. You, can someone just take a nugget and like just put it in a fryer? What's all the rest of that? Oh, did you ever hear where they made like fried chicken with uh, frosted flakes? It's like the crust. <laughs> oh my gosh, did anybody hear about that Starbucks conspiracy theory where they misspell your name on purpose so that you put it on social media and then people want Starbucks? I totally believe that because I've seen pictures of them misspelling the most common names and it's just like, girl, how the heck did you misspell Andrew? Like, there's only like one way to spell that. I mean, they misspell my name every time. I don't that's fascinating to me and if you think about it it's really smart because they get like free advertising on people's social media in fact you're paying them so uh they're smart a lot of people believe that microwaves kill nutrients in your food in fact i remember being told like oh don't microwave your vegetables it'll get all the nutrients out of them and whatever and so for the longest time i haven't microwaved vegetables only use the microwave for some popcorn girl you know apparently that's just a myth. Yes, microwaves do change the nutrients in food. So do other forms of cooking. There's really no way around it. But I feel like there has to be something to that though because they say to not microwave baby formula and only put it on the stove. So I mean, it's like when you pluck an apple off a tree or you you know pull a potato out of the ground, from the minute you pluck it, pull it, deroot it, I don't know. From the minute you do that, they start losing their nutrients. And they say that by the time food reaches our plate that a lot of the original nutrients in it are gone. I don't know. There are people that like laugh at the idea of microwaves killing nutrients in food and then there's people that refuse to microwave anything besides popcorn like me. A study in the journal Science of Food and Agriculture claims microwaving broccoli severely impacts its nutrient value. In fact, the study is looking at foods boiled in microwave ovens. Boiling, in fact, have dramatic effect on nutrient content of food no matter if it's done in a microwave or a stove top. So it seems like no matter what you do to it, unless you're eating it raw, you're somewhat depleting the nutrients anyway. Guess the moral of the story is we're all gonna have to learn to grow our own food. 
Because that's really the only way to know what you're eating. If you want to freak yourself out about food, I watched What the Health on Netflix. It really got me thinking about stuff and what I eat and all that kind of thing. So, you know, who really knows? So a lot of people would say, oh, you know, like, just go vegan. That could be it. But it's like, it's also in the vegetables. There's also growth hormones and pesticides. Your girl's about to just become a farmer. That seems to be the common denominator in all of this. They're just like, you know, learn to grow your own food. It's so weird because at one point, many a moon ago, my family and I, we had a garden in our backyard. We grew broccoli, tomatoes, I don't know, we grew a bunch of vegetables. And I remember thinking how weird they looked compared to food at the store. I was just like, they don't look good to me. They look gross, but they tasted so much better. Seems like they're trying to sell us with pretty stuff and not really what's good for us, which is like, eh. it's all scary. I'm sorry if I scared you, don't be scared. Like my mom says, don't think too much about it. Just do your best, cut out what you can, limit McDonald's, Avi. I mean, girl, I still go for that McFlurry. I don't even care. <laughs> even though I'm pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant, I don't really care. That is gonna do it for today's conspiracy theory video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and maybe I'll do more of these in the future. I wanna do like government conspiracies, parallel universes, psychic things. I think I'm kind of a psychic, at least somewhat, sort of. So let me know if you guys wanna see any of that. If you wanna see more conspiracy theory videos, I will have a playlist linked up here. You can find me on all my social media, all of that is down below. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs, I love you guys. Bye! Alright, yeah, I'm too woke, okay.